Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Some snow reports coming in, and as expected, the uh, northwest suburbs seeing some slightly higher totals. Had a report of 2.5 inches in Situate 3 in West Gloucester. And just checking on a report right now, Foster coming in uh, at 4 inches of snow and still snowing. We uh, take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and it's not just snow, but rather a variety of precipitation. Uh, the colors represent precipitation type. The blue is snow. The darker blue uh, would represent uh, heavier snow. The pink is a mixture. It's a really a little bit of everything. In the green, areas of rain off and on across parts of the South Shore and just offshore. But draw your attention to this little break in the precipitation out towards the Connecticut River Valley. So this whole area of steady and at times heavy precipitation sliding away. There may be a bit of a lull where it's just either drizzle or flurries or just very light stuff. And then a second slightly heavier surge of moisture headed our way later on this evening and uh, during the overnight. So that uh, the possibility of a lull shortly even though it's coming down at a pretty good clip. And we still anticipate a change over to sleet and plain rain later on this evening and overnight. In fact it's done so in places like West for Thursday, not quite out of the woods yet as far as moisture. It'll be a mixture that'll continue most of the day, though the trend as we get uh, later into the afternoon as cold air comes in, a transition over to light snow. There may be some additional very light accumulations tomorrow, but with temperatures above freezing, I wouldn't expect too much to be sticking on the ground. Still coming down pretty good downtown Providence right now with uh, moderate snow. These are live pictures. It's cooled off to 32, so now that the temperature has dropped, it's a little easier for some of the snow to stick to the pavement, which for the most part it's been melting all day. It's been sticking to grassy areas, car tops and decks, but not as much on paved surfaces as many locations right now are near the uh, freezing mark. Here's the situation. Storm system, really two of them approaching. One is across the upper Midwest. You can see that the slug of moisture coming through right now. I'm going to watch the second area of developing moisture all, well off to our south and west. that will try to clip the area during the uh, overnight hours into early tomorrow morning as the colder air has settled in for now, but temperatures may be warming up at least in the upper levels of the atmosphere, high above our heads, and why we'll eventually see a, a changeover to sleet and rain if it hasn't done so uh, already. But as far as accumulations, one to two inches of slush in the areas in blue, and then this strip of three to five. You don't have to go too far to the north, maybe 20 miles north of the northern Rhode Island border, southern Worcester County, and the Mass Pike, anywhere from six to ten inches of snow by the overnight hours. Let's get in real close. And so far, things are verifying. In other words, Foster has four right now. West Gloucester has three. Situate has uh, 2.5. So as expected, the higher totals in this red zone, and just not as much in this area in light blue, one to two. So those kind of amounts for us hardy New Englanders would we'd call that a nuisance. And then near the coastline, mostly wet rather than white. But an eventual change over the sleet and rain this evening and overnight. In fact, we'll get that second surge of slightly heavier precipitation later tonight. Mostly rain, but there may be some sleet in our northern suburbs. A mixture to Tomorrow morning, wet snow, sleet, and rain, 30 to 36 degrees. So with temperatures like that, it'll be hard to really stick to any uh, paved surfaces. And then during the afternoon, as it gets a little colder, we'll start to see a change back over to some light snow. All right, when do things finally dry out? Well, it's by uh, the week, uh, Friday rather. We'll start to see uh, uh, temperatures in the uh, 40s under mainly cloudy skies, but at least it dries out. Next storm system for Saturday will be in the form of rain in the 50s and drying out for Sunday. Part cloudy and a temperature at 47. Maybe a lull in the precipitation shortly, but then more will develop later tonight. Okay, thanks Tony. Okay.